Hi folks, it's Ian Baker, the product specialist with American RV. Today we're going to talk about the 2016 Lance 2285. This is going to be a beautiful, lightweight, four-season travel trailer. It's going to have a nice rear kitchen floor plan. The thing I love about this unit, it is going to be very lightweight, just over 5,000 pounds, and as you can see, it has a full extension slide. You can also see here, you're going to have great storage with a pull-out tray, and Lance quality is going to be second to none with a huck bolt frame, carefree of Colorado awning, uh, and many other features, Lance is definitely going to be top of the line. Let's go ahead and go inside and we'll take a look. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Lance 2285. This is going to be a fantastic couples coach, beautiful rear kitchen floor plan. You're going to have this huge slide here. One of my favorite parts is this is just over 5,000 pounds, so it's going to be nice and lightweight. But let's go ahead and start off right over here on our door side wall. So uh, right here you are going to have a very nice incliner. Both sides will incline, so you can go ahead and kick your feet up. That's uh, just going to be a nice, uh, comfortable place to sit besides the very large u dinette. Also you're gonna have a nice big window right here which is great it's exactly where you're gonna want it because that's gonna have your best view to your campsite right there as well as let in a lot of additional light. LED lights here as well as throughout the entire coach so you're gonna have nice bright lights without using a lot of a uh, lot of power. And then as we look up top here, you're gonna have excellent storage right up there. Uh, one of the things I really love that Lance does, you know, part of the quality, all of their uh, cabinetry is going to be CNC milled, so it's going to be nice and precise. Um, and then you're gonna have your hard woods on here. All of your cabinetry is also going to be screwed and glued, so it's gonna just be a very high-end uh, make, the way they design it for the Lance. Also, if you look right up top here, because that is CNC, talk about precision, look at how that lines right up along with the ceiling. Most manufacturers have to put what they call gimp molding up there to hide the imperfections, not Lance. They do a, just a wonderful job. And you want to talk about strength and durability? Look at that, you can hammer anywhere in here. You're not gonna have to worry about it breaking or, or, dis, uh, or busting, just very, very high-end, um, uh, again, cabinetry. Also on this wall right here, you are gonna have key, a key ring right here, which is nice. That way you can have all your keys for everything in one convenient place. Of course, the other side of the couch, you're also gonna have a plug-in in case you do wanna sit on the incliner and work on your iPad. This is going to be a rear kitchen, as I mentioned. So right here is going to be our Norcold fridge freezer. We'll go ahead and open that up and take a look. Nice large fridge freezer here. One of the things I do like uh, about this placement is if you are gonna be outside, which hopefully if you're camping, you are spending a lot of time outside, it's nice and easy to just pop right in, grab a nice cool beverage or something and head right back out. So I do like where they went ahead and placed the fridge freezer uh, in, this, um, in this unit. Also, this is going to run off both LP and electric, and it's gonna have automatic switch over for you. What that means is if you're running off propane, as soon as you plug into shore power, it'll go ahead and switch over, saving you on your propane. Also, you are going to have your uh, thermostat right on the outside so you can easily adjust how cold you want the fridge freezer. Right here is going to be our microwave. Underneath that, fully functional hood with the light and fan. You are gonna get a three burner Atwood cooktop on there with a cover as well. Of course, Atwood's gonna have great flame control, so that's gonna allow you to go ahead and be a chef while you're on the road. And also, they have this built-in backsplash, so if you are cooking any bacon, anything like that, gonna be nice and easy for you to clean up. It's not gonna have to worry about ripping off wallpaper. Then as we take a look here, you're also gonna have a, a standard oven, which is perfect for baking anything and nice large countertop space in here. So even though it's gonna be a shorter travel trailer, you still get big countertop space, which is going to be fantastic. A large double bowl sink. Uh, again, not something you see very often in Lance. Usually they have a single bowl, so it's nice that you know they have enough countertop space in here. They can put that double bowl sink in here, as well as they give you a sink top cover. This will be cutting board quality, so you can go ahead and flip that over, use it as a cutting board. Also, you're gonna have your nice pull-out faucet. The thing I love about Lance is they use actual hardware. This is gonna be a residential faucet. It's not gonna be one of those inexpensive plastic ones that a lot of the manufacturers use. Great lighting in here, both because of the LEDs and you're gonna have your windows. And then you're gonna have excellent storage up top. As you'll see, of course, it is going to be self-supported. You have a shelf that's going to be built in for you right there and a very large storage area up top here. As we go underneath, we'll open this one up. 
you'll see you're going to have four drawers. Uh, Lance does use plastic drawers. The reason for that is because they're nice and easy to clean up and you can take them outside if you want. So you can take them out, use them anywhere. They make great bins. Again, if you, you know, are setting up outside, you want to wash some dishes outside, you can easily do that with these. You also have a plug in here, so if you do want to plug in, uh, you know, blender or anything, you can do that. As well as you'll have an additional plug in right here, uh, and you have extra space right here for your coffee maker. Additional storage right underneath this side, nice big storage there. And then right back here you have an extra rack. This is going to be our slide out right here. Very deep slide out. So I love that Lance does this. They don't give you an 18 inch slide out. You know, it's gonna be a, a, a nice 36 inch full extension slide out there. Very large U dinette. So this is gonna be wonderful because it's a great place to go ahead and sit around. You do get the corner pillows. So if you wanna go ahead and prop yourself in the corner and have your legs, uh, you know, come, out, uh, come along the seat bench, you can certainly do that. And also this makes into a very large bed. So if you do have additional guests, not a problem. You can just take the center post out here. The table's gonna sit along all these rails inside, fill it in with cushions, and you can uh, easily sleep two adults. The light here is it's really cool. As you'll notice, you're gonna have this switch so you can go ahead and dim it. Nice dimmer switch. Uh, that's gonna be fantastic. Kinda helps set the mood a little bit and helps you control the lighting. Also, underneath, take a look at the size of these drawers. Huge full extension drawers in the land makes it extremely easy to go ahead and access everything under that dinette. So I love this feature, that's a huge bonus feature. They do have locks on the side so you can go ahead and lock them so they don't swing open on travel, but just a, an excellent feature there. Also, I do have a lot of people that ask me why the slide out is raised. It's actually gonna be pretty simple. Lance wants to give you the best tow ability possible, so in order, to, in order to do that, they keep the unit low. They could raise the entire unit up to that same level of the slide so you had the flush floor, but then the overall height of the unit is going to go up and then of course you have more wind resistance. So that's why and honestly I would much rather have the great tow ability and just take a step up into the slide. And right up here is going to be your entertainment center. So you'll notice you do get name brand electronics. These are both going to be Jensen Electronics. Uh, Jensen is going to be one of the top brands in the RV industry because they're going to build to be able to take the, the rattles and shakes of going down the road as well as the fluctuations in temperature. Uh, but that's going to be fantastic. 32 inch TV there. Multimedia center here. Um, you know this is great because it is going to be your radio as well as a CD player and a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie you can certainly pop it in and do that. And then it also has Bluetooth capability, so if you have an iPod, something like that, uh, you can go ahead and sit outside, be able to control your music uh, via Bluetooth. Excellent storage right here. You're also going to have a nice shelf right here. I like this because this is going to be kind of versatile as well. If you want to put like a Xbox or PlayStation or something, you can there. Or, or if you want a place to charge your cell phones, this is a perfect place for it. It's not only do you have your standard plugins, but you're also going to have USB plugins over here as well. So that way you can go ahead and set that right there and charge. But again, if you did have that PlayStation or Xbox, you have a couple HDMI ports right there. It makes it super simple so you don't even have to worry about going up into the TV. Uh, also, you do have an additional plug-in down here. So again, Again, if you want to sit at the U Dinette and uh, work on your iPad, you can certainly plug that in right here. All right, let's make our way to the front half. I will show you our giant wardrobe and our bathroom. So I love this feature. Take a look at how big of a wardrobe you get right here. Right outside the bathroom, you get massive space. You have a nice hanging uh, rod there. You have plenty of room underneath as well. So if you want to throw like a, a small laundry basket in there for dirty clothes, you can do that. Or it does make a great place for shoes. Now right next to that is going to be our vanity, as you can see here. And the thing I like that they did uh, as well right here is they do give you a countertop extension. So if you need a place to put you know, curling iron, hair dryer, something like that, you do have that extra space. But So you, that's going to uh, give you a, a lot of countertop space. Of course, we're going to have our sink here. Additional storage underneath, some great storage there. Right here you do have a plug-in, so again to plug in those appliances you can easily do that. You're going to have your towel ring here as well as a nice mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that and this beautiful decorative light. Right across the way is going to be the rest of our bathroom. You do have a mirror built in right there. Then as we go ahead and walk in, you'll see you're gonna have your uh, toilet right in the corner there. And then next to that 
or right above that rather, is going to be our uh, towel bar and a magazine rack. What a perfect place for a magazine rack. Of course, we have vents up top, huge skylight, and a beautiful shower with shelving. Uh, very convenient door there, as well as our hand wand for ease of use. Then as we step outside the bathroom, we're gonna go ahead and step into our bedroom. So you do have a, a nice curtain here, so you can go ahead and close that off for additional privacy if you do have other guests. Uh, right up here is going to be placement for TV. So again, you do have an extra HDMI port in right there, which is very nice, but that's where your TV would go. Uh, you're gonna have windows on both sides, letting in a lot of natural light, as well as this big, beautiful uh, window with the curved glass on the front there. And not only can you get a lot of light in here, but you can open these windows up. As you'll see right up top, you do have a fantastic fan that does a <laughs> fantastic job of pulling in a lot of air. Uh, it really creates a nice cross breeze in here, so that way you don't have to turn on your AC at night if you uh, have a nice cool night. Again, LED lights here. You're gonna have some speakers in here as well, which are controlled by the multimedia center I showed you out by the TV. Uh, right here, I, I, this is a full 60 by 80 residential queen bed. I love that Lance does that. So, you know, this is going to be a fairly comfortable mattress. As you'll see, it is a Serta mattress. You're gonna have a pillow top on here. However, you know, because the quality, you will have the Lance for a long time. So you may have to replace the mattress. If you wanna put on, uh, you know, again, a residential mattress, you can because it is going to be residential size. Also, we can open this up. It is going to be nice strut assisted, very large storage underneath. You can see your hatch covers there. Because Lance is four season, you can go ahead and put those up over all your hatches. Um, that way it's gonna, again, help for insulation values. As we take a look on the sides of our bed, we can take a look around. You have nice large shelves on both sides. I, I Again, another feature that Lance does that I love. Um, you can have you know a glass of water sitting there. If you have a CPAP machine, you can sleep on either side. The shelves are plenty large, and you're gonna have plug-ins on both sides. So again, you get to choose your side of the bed. You're also going to have a pull-out drawer on both sides. You'll have a magazine rack on the door side there, and you're going to have additional wardrobe space on both sides with a hanging rod included there as well. Also, you do have some shelving up top, accent lighting there, as well as on our, our shelves here, as you can see. And then you'll have additional LED reading lights right up here. That way, if you wanna sit in bed and read a book, not a problem, you can certainly do that. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Again, this is a 2016 Lance 2285. This is just a wonderful uh, rear kitchen floor plan. It's a perfect couples coach. You have uh, tons of storage. You have plenty of space. It's gonna be really light at just over 5,000 pounds, extremely high quality, four season capable. Definitely something you wanna come and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer it that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.